Hello, this is Kyle Horst with Kirksville Web Design and Google Sites Webdesign.com. It's been a uh, quite a while since my late last video, so uh apologize for that. Just uh enjoying a school break and uh didn't end the uh holiday break. But anyways, back here and uh I was gonna walk through domains, setting up your domain for your website. Now, if you've been following along, you know the Nums Bakery website has been uh, growing, and uh, although it's not completely finished, I'm just gonna walk through this just for the sake of uh, learning how to use uh, GoDaddy to host your to host your website. Well, not host, but be the registrar for your website to put it on a dot com or dot org what have you so you start off with going to my account on the godaddy dot com website and uh... if you have a account already there you log in or you'll get to this screen so here i am and it's gonna go to view domain manager that's the first thing that you need to do Okay. Now let's imagine that you've just purchased your your website, which I've recommended that you don't get any of the the add-ons or anything like that. Just get the .com, which is like twelve dollars, and move ahead with that, and uh, it'll be in this domain manager when uh, it takes you know a couple of minutes for it to to load up on the screen, but it'll be here. So okay so I've got some domains here that I have such as Google Sites Web Design uh, and some of the other ones I've made so for the sake of learning here I, I, I'm not going to actually buy a domain but I'm just gonna show you what I've done to set it up so you're in the domain manager you go you click on the domain that you want to take a look at and then from that point you're given this screen of options and this can be it's intimidating at first I mean, you think Google Sites is easy, but, you know, are you technically savvy in order to figure all this out? Maybe not. All right. Well, what you do first, I always look at the domain info, and I go to this forwarding, and I click Manage for that. And when you do the forwarding, there is nothing, there is nothing there to begin with, uh, but you want to forward your your domain without the www you want to forward that to the www.herxfieldwebdesign or maybe it's the other way around but anyways that's what you need to do um, so you, you when you you're doing this it won't have anything in there and then you put in your your full web address so that it uh, forwards correctly to that and this will enable people to regardless of whether they put just your address.com or www.address.com it's it's sending you there so that's what that is fulfilling and then the next part that you're going to skip to is the do DNS manager uh, I think it's like domain name servers manager something like that and you want to launch that and from that you are given this screen which is a lot of stuff that also doesn't make much sense to me but what does make sense is you're given the this is already here it says www and then it'll have uh, I can't remember something original uh, maybe it's empty I think it might actually have the at symbol but you want to change that to the ghs.google.com that is critical to the uh, domain being it basically creates your domain GoDaddy the registrar is going to communicate with Google and say you know host or show your website on this domain that we're telling you to use so this is the communicator uh, ghs.google.com so when you're uh, in there editing you need to set that up and this doesn't really matter I've just put it one hour or whatever that means I still don't know and from that point, uh, there there really isn't anything else. That's essentially how easy it is. Um, let me just get out of here. Now, 
so you've bought your web, you've bought the domain, you've done this, these steps, and the only thing left is to go to your website. Go to your website, go to more actions, manage site. You're going to go to web address. And this is also quite simple. You're going to go to the www.myaddress. There you would fill in <laughs> whatever the domain is that you bought. And you click add. And that, that sets it up so that Google is ready also to communicate with the registrar of your domain. So they're both talking to each other. And that's what enables your website to be viewable on the domain using Google Sites. And yeah, they make it pretty easy. If you wanted to learn more, you can go to this uh, Learn More link. And that'll kind of also give you a walkthrough, but I wanted to create a video for those of you who want to take this uh, mostly and a very important step to getting your website visible to the masses. Uh, and that's really all I have to report on. But again, just want to give you all an update. Uh, please visit www.googlesitewebdesign.com where I'm I do updates uh, two three times a week one if it's uh, been a slow week but uh yeah look forward to those posts and I'll catch you next time thanks for tuning in guys bye